A Fairfax County jury now has the case against a teenager on trial for killing two high school students. Today, we have police body camera video that shows what was going on when officers arrived at the crime scene. News 4's Derek Ward joins us now live from the Fairfax County Courthouse. Derek? Well, this is quite the compelling case, and a lot of it hinges upon that video evidence, some of which you will see here. Now, I went to the jury a few hours ago, and after this incident in April of last year, two young men are dead, and now a third man's life hangs in the balance. This police body cam footage shows an officer arriving at the scene of a shooting in Springfield in April of last year. Zachary Burkhardt is seen tending to a victim. Police say he admitted to shooting 17-year-old Ershine Eliasar, one of two teens shot that day. In testimony in his own defense, Burkhardt said he was trying to get Eliasar and 16-year-old Calvin Van Pelt to stop beating up his friend when Eliasar charged at him. Burkhardt says he opened fire in self-defense and didn't even realize he had shot Van Pelt. In the days leading up to the shootings, the victims and the defendant had been engaged in threats and taunts over social media. In closing arguments, the prosecutor said those posts show the defendant escalating the situation. But during defense's close, Burkhardt's lawyer said that, that still doesn't amount to the premeditation of first-degree murder. And while the defense sought to use the body cam video to help the defendant, the prosecutor says other video and audio from the scene indicates the fight that Burkhardt was allegedly trying to break up had already de-escalated when he came into the garage pointing his gun. Now, the jury has left for the day. Apparently, they have not yet reached a verdict. They did have some questions for the court earlier, and that, those questions were regarding that video evidence. They wanted to know if there was an index for the uh, disc containing some of that body cam footage and other video that you've seen. They also wanted some speakers for a laptop that they had so they could hear some of the audio. So the video and audio evidence will figure heavily in this case, which resumes with jury deliberation tomorrow. Live at Fairfax County Courthouse, Derek Ward, News 4.